you know, I love him, I love him, I love him. Sure do. Our next guest is a uh, very funny young man uh, who is making his debut with us tonight. Uh, here is a copy of his new CD right there entitled, My Name is Hannibal. Please welcome to The Late Show, Hannibal Burris, ladies and gentlemen. You know, whenever people are going through something in life, they get really cliche. They say stuff like, I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm just taking it one day at a time. <laughs> and you know who else is? Everybody, because that's how time works. <laughs> that's the only way you can take time. Were you doing it a week at a time before? Who are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. I'm taking it one day at a time, too. And I don't even have a crippling drug addiction. <laughs> I get upset by little stuff people do. I saw this guy, he was on the phone and he had the phone between his ear and his shoulder like that. But he didn't have anything in his hands. <laughs> and that just upset me, like who the hell do you think you are? This is for people that are multitasking. Where's your other task? You're not doing anything else. Oh. I was just hoping somebody would throw a pumpkin at me, like, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> you wouldn't believe somebody just threw a pumpkin at me, man. But don't worry about it. You know what my phone technique is. <laughs> I keep my hands free. You never know what's going to happen out here in these crazy streets. These streets are so crazy. <laughs> I like my job. <laughs> I like my job. Uh, I write. We have interns at the job. You tell them to do stuff, and they do it. It's great. <laughs> but you got to be nice to them, though. I had this guy fax something. Hey, man, fax that for me. I gave him another page. Hey, fax something for yourself, too. <laughs> I was leaving work one day. I got on the elevator going down. It stopped on three. This man got on and was like, thank you. And I was like, what are you thanking me for? I don't work on the elevator. <laughs> this ain't mad, man. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> Why are you thanking me to get on the elevator? What is your life like? Do people usually push you off the elevator? <laughs> I said, get off the elevator, man. <laughs> stairs for you, it's always been stairs. <laughs> you need to work on your calves anyway. Why are your calves flabby? We haven't let you take the elevator in six years. <laughs> Now, I spend a lot of time watching jail shows on MSNBC. <laughs> Everybody watches them. You don't plan on watching them, but if you flip it, you're like, okay, let me see what people in jail are up to. <laughs> it, was, it was a guy, <laughs> he was 19 years old, and he committed arson at his old job, and they sentenced him to 14 years. He went back to his cell, and his cellmate said, how much did they give you? He said, they gave me 14 years. The cellmate gave him a hug and said, it's going to be all right. And I was watching like, nah, it's not. <laughs> That's not going to be all right. That's, That's 14 years in jail. That's going to suck. <laughs> he's only saying that because he's also in jail. You need to talk to somebody like me on the outside. I got perspective. Like, that's horrible, man. Nobody's gonna give you a job in 2025. You did the worst thing at your old, you burnt down your old job. <laughs> I have a situation in my apartment right now. I have a surplus of pickle juice in my apartment. <laughs> There's too much pickle juice, because after the pickles are gone, I don't like throwing out the pickle juice. It just feels wasteful. So lately, I've been dipping my fingers in the pickle juice, and then I flick it on my sandwiches for flavor, like that. <laughs> like, how many flicks does it take to properly flavor a ham sandwich? I say between 7 and 11, depending on how big your fingers are and how long you leave them immersed in the pickle juice. There's a lot of variables. I studied this. 
So I get home one day and all the pickle juice is gone. I asked my roommate, hey man, what happened to the pickle juice? He said, I, I threw it away. It's just pickle juice. I said, it's not just pickle juice. I flicked that on my sandwiches for flavor. I told him, hey man, you know I gotta hurt one of your lizards now. He has like seven pet lizards. That's way too many lizards. They don't do anything. Never been on Animal Planet. They're not even famous lizards. They're random lizards. They chill in my apartment all day. They have lights on them all the time. But they don't put any money on a light bill. Who are these lizards? Get all this free light. I pay for my lights. I'll fry one of those lizards and have a lizard sandwich and flick pickle juice on it. Thanks a lot, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you come back, sir. Hopefully. Good to have you here. We'll Thanks be right back with no aid, ladies and gentlemen.